in today's look I'm going to be using the Marana Colours on lipstick. Hey everybody, so today I'm doing a get ready with me using the new Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to be using the Marana Colours today. So I'm doing something a little bit different. I was going to just do standard get ready with me and use a number of colours from around the palette and I will do that at some point. But I've decided to do a series of five get ready with me's using each character's colours. Um, the Urban Decay have kind of... <laughs> name them each row with a character's name that actually links up with the lipstick names which I think is really cool. So you've got Alice and then the Mad Hatter, Marana, Erasabeth and Time. So today I'm going to be doing Marana which is the White Queen. I really like these colours. It's going to be a quite wearable eye but then I'm probably going to kind of whiten my skin and put on a wig possibly to kind of do something a little bit more dramatic. But these are the colours that I'm using. So I'm going to start by just putting some Ben Nye Pure White Powder on my face using a Sigma brush. And um, just, I'm pretty pale as it is, but just to kind of give me that extra paleness. <laughs> because the White Queen is very, very pale. <laughs> okay, so. And this powder is so amazing for doing kind of like brightening up under the eyes, which is what a lot of people tend to use this for. So kind of to set any kind of places that you're highlighting. And you've got to be careful with it because yeah, it's very white. The eye look is definitely going to be something that you could just wear every day if you wanted to. Okay, I'm looking suitably ghostly. <laughs> I have to excuse where I'm not covering, I don't want to end up covering everything because I am going out after this. And yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I've got the sniffs now because it made me sneeze. I'm just going to put on some eye primer portion. I'm just going to use Urban Decay's standard primer portion. I love this stuff. I don't think they actually do it in this kind of size or packaging anymore. Um, because this is the professional size. It's like really huge. But I think they do it in a different kind of container now. So I don't know. It would be a shame if they didn't do, still do it like this. It's lasted me for so long. So I'm starting with one eye done. And as you can see, it is a wearable sort of look. Again, not inspired by the makeup in the movie, just using the colours from the palette. I don't know if you can see the pink shift, but in person you can really see the pink shift in that shadow. It's so pretty when you move. It's gorgeous. So, let's get started. So what I've done on this eye, which I forgot to film, sorry, um, I just put a base on, so it's a colour that goes from lash line up to brow bone. And I just use blank tap, blank tap, blank type by Mac, because that's just quite a nice sort of very very neutral ivory sort of shade. As you can see, you can't even see it. So, as you can see, you can't see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, honestly. Right. Okay. So, um, let's get started. So the first thing I did was I applied colours to the lid. So the first colour that I used, I can't see. <laughs> okay, um, right, so. Okay. 
Kingdom. So I'm going to use Kingdom and then I'm also going to use Duchess. So Kingdom first. And I'm just going to put that on the outer part of the eye, coming across and just up to the crease, no higher, bringing it across to the centre of the eye. Very, very pretty lid colour this one. It's really nice bronzy brown shade. And then I'm just kind of letting it taper off there. It's not very easy. And then taking that kind of duochrome shade called Duchess, which is, it looks like it's going to be peach, but it's got a very sort of pink over, sort of duochrome over frost. And it's not a very strong colour on the lid, even though I'm very pale, this is not a strong colour. So when you put it on you almost feel like there's nothing there and it doesn't even look like there is. You definitely need to build it. But just when you think to yourself, well, there is no colour there and you move, then you can see the pink. It's really, really pretty. But I'm just kind of going lightly and just a tiny bit at a time. And then I'm just bringing it into the centre of the eye and letting it overlap with Kingdom. Fallout, you can see. <laughs> These are slightly messy shades. So that's that. Hopefully you can see a little bit of that colour there. So the next thing I went into was chessboard, which is the warm brown colour at the bottom. And I'm just going to apply that in circular motions on the outer part of my eye. I'm taking that down to the outer lash line. This is a very pigmented colour so you definitely want to take your time and build it and I'm concentrating most of it on this outer eye and just taking it slightly up at the corner. And then allowing it to blend across in more windshield work. Windshield, <laughs> windshield wiper motions. I don't know why I have problems saying that. <laughs> and it's just a case of being patient here and just blend, blend, blend till your arm falls off. <laughs> I always have problems kind of deepening up here. I don't know why this part of like my eye does not take colour too well. Okay, that's okay for now because I've got some more work to do with that. But I want to take that same colour and I want to use kind of a flat sort of definer brush and I want to bring that underneath the eye. Joining it up to the outer corner there. And then bringing it across and stopping just before the inner eye. And then taking a pencil brush, I'm going to go back to Kingdom, which is the bronzy shade and just smoke underneath slightly with that. Because I think that looks really, really nice. The next thing, I'm just going to do an inner eye highlight and I'm going to use Lily for that, which is the top shade, which is this lovely sort of ivory with a very high kind of pink overspray on it. And this is really nice on the inner eye corner. And then just bringing it across and blending it into that lower lash line. Just gives a nice light on the inner eye corner. I 
And then taking um, a bit more of a large fluffy sort of brush, I'm just going to pop that colour also on the brow bone. And immediately you can kind of see that lovely pink kind of shine there. It's really, really nice on the brow bone. Then I went and took a fluffy sort of blender brush, went back into chessboard and just took it over the edge of that colour there, just to soften all of that out. And then the liner, which I think the liner for me always kind of pulls together any eye look. And I went for two Urban Decay colours today. So I didn't want to do a wing. <laughs> Wings are complicated for me anyway, they don't always go right. So I wanted to use um, just a standard bit of a line just to define the eye. And I'm using Demolition on the upper, which is like a nice dark brown shade. And that's what that looks like. And then on the waterline, and tight line, I'm using gun metal, which is that shade there, which I thought was quite nice because it, it kind of reminds me of mirror, which is another colour in the palette, and I think that this will be quite nice in that look too. So just popping that on the waterline, all the way across, and tight line. I like that little bit of a hint of grey. Then stay very close to the lash line. Because I don't want the liner to be like really thick. And then what I did was I went back in to this colour here which is Duchess and just popped that back over the lid again just in case there was anywhere where that pink overspray was not seen because sometimes when you blend in and use other shadows they can fall onto each other. And just kind of touching up on that inner eye. Excuse the, all the fallout here, let's tidy that up. But I'm just going to put some mascara on now. I love this mascara so much. This is just a little sample, just check which one it is. This is the Zoom Fast Black Lash from MAC quite a lot of these little samples. And that's the eyes. As you can see from that, they are very wearable. And I hope you can see kind of the pink shift when I move. I think it's really nice, like I said, very wearable, sort of nice neutral look. And now I'm just going to add on some contour, some blush and highlight and stuff. So for contour, I'm using this eyeshadow by Makeup Revolution in Mocha Love. One of my latest obsessions, which will be featured in an upcoming video. And I'm going to use the Sigma F05, which I love this blush. Brush. I nearly said blush. And I want to be a little careful with how I build this, because this is quite a pigmented shadow. But I've put a, quite a bit of white on my face, so I don't want to end up like with a huge stripe. And I'd highly, highly recommend this eyeshadow as a contour, particularly for you very fair girls, because it's nice and cool toned, so it gives you like a natural shadow look rather than you know a stripe of definite orange or something, you know. Because sometimes contour shades can be a bit too warm. Um for pale girls, it's a bit of a struggle to find something. Um and I've gone even whiter today, so. But I want to definitely do quite a strong contour because, you know, Anne Hathaway has 
amazing cheekbones. <laughs> well, I think she does. She has a lovely bone structure. So we'll start with that. And for blush, I decided that I wanted to use this one from number seven, which I've had for a couple of years now, from the Midnight Enchantment range. I just thought it was quite nice because I want to go for something dark, but not too dark, if that makes sense. So just to give like a little bit of a warm flush, plummy flush. But as you can see, it's like not too much. Because obviously the lip for this look is quite strong, so. So I'm not going too heavy <laughs> with that. And then I'm going to use some highlighter. Now, Silver Dusk by MAC now discontinued. I'm going to open this incredibly carefully. It's an amazing highlight. And I just think that, you know, this character would be super glowy because she's white and she's kind of like... You know, I think she would look super glowy. Being very, very white. And I just want to do that. So, this is an amazing highlight. I'd love to get another one of these for a backup, but they're just insanely priced on eBay. So if anybody has one that they want to get rid of and they want to swap, I'd be happy to discuss that because <laughs> I just love it. It actually was the first product I ever bought from MAC. I hope they re-promote it at some point. I think they should because it's just so amazing. So even though that's a quite an in-your-face highlighter, I've kept it quite so really I know it doesn't look like it but yeah just a nice glow and then the lips so I'm going to use obviously the Murana lipstick here but I'm going to use a liner by Colourpop which I've lost I'm just going to use Dahlia because it seems like it'd be quite a nice match because it's quite a nice dark red So that's a nice colour. This is a lovely lip liner, Dahlia. Such a pretty colour. And Morana. I think, oh, I've took it out already. <laughs> Morana. Oh, I love this colour so much. There are no words. That is such a stunning colour. I really, really love it. So, let's get the hair down. And that is the finished look. Because I kind of just keep this getting get ready with me kind of neutral-ish <laughs> and kind of like what a look that you could wear 
which I think is very wearable and really nice. But then at the end I will put in kind of the wig part just because I wanted to also see what it looks like with kind of a Marana style wig and kind of make it more movie inspired. But that's it for today guys, hope you've enjoyed it. The next look I'll do, I'm not sure actually, I can't wait to play around with all of these colours but I might do the hat the next. So um, these should be up like one day after another so oh, tomorrow's look, you'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye guys.